What the? Hold on. Why isn't my internet working? I have signal. What's the deal? Oh, Belle Delphine posted a video of her giving head on Twitter. Got it. Well, that makes sense then. That boy's thick. Well, she wasn't kidding. Belle Delphine put all those questions to rest. They're dead. They're six feet under. They're deader than Nate Robinson. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Belle Delphine posted a video on Twitter that absolutely broke the internet. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to burn it all down and start over again. It's back to my space we go, boys and girls. Tom, where are you at? Also, someone said something on Pokemon stream that really set her off. And Mia Khalifa did what now? Let's dive in. Welcome back to Simp City. Hit it, Dwight. So smash like if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to join the Thick Squad. I'd fucking love you forever and you just can't put a price on love, which is perfect because subbing is free. Well, gamer boys, it's been a wild ride. I posted a video about two weeks ago about Belle Delphine and that first Twitter video where she not only announces her porn debut, but shows the world her tits just for good measure. That was wild. She was trying to make a statement that she's for real. But obviously she didn't feel like that was enough. And I stupidly questioned if her porn debut was legit, just given her history of being a master troll. But, I was wrong. Because this, nobody was ready for this, not even the internet itself. This would make Moist Critical blush. Belle Delphine out of nowhere just drops the biggest nuke to date. She out of the blue, no prompting, posted a video on Twitter of her sucking her boyfriend's d with a picture of Pickle Rick somewhat covering it. And I'm a man, I'll admit it. I've seen the video. You know, for research purposes. <clears throat> and mostly, to read the replies. Wow, I just realized that's like saying you read Playboy for the articles. But it's true, I swear, it was for the replies. Mostly. And there was some gold in there, man. Get ready to be depressed. First up, we got biggest Trump supporter saying, and I quote, Belle, I love you. I'm 73 and my wife recently divorced me. Any chance of me and you being together? Wow. There's so much wrong with that tweet. But my first thought was, Twitch really wants to ban the word simp as an insult. As long as dudes keep talking like this, I will keep using the word simp. Get over it or quit simping. One of my favorites was from this guy, Psycho Simp. He attached a picture of his pickle Rick with the message, my queen. I'm obsessed and jealous and horny and angry. You make me feel so confused. And yes, I am a real and proud simp. Bruh. What's wrong with you? 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 Next up, we got this creep saying, quote, If God had ever made a Barbie doll, it would be you. But he created you as a girl. God wanted to balance the roughness in me by sending a cute angel in my life. I love you so much, dear. I would pound that ass up, baby. Please let me have a chance. Oh, God. So you get the point. Belle Delphine's Twitter is a lawless jungle full of simps. And they came out in droves. Also, this is worth mentioning, I just wanted to point this out. If you weren't aware, when any OnlyFans girl posts something on Twitter, a bunch of other OnlyFans girls just spam the comments with links to their own OnlyFans. It's weird. It's like, don't look at her tits, look at mine. Look at these. Look at them. What a world we live in, huh? But one of the most common replies that I saw in the replies were dudes saying that her head game was weak. So, jokes aside, the video's weird. She does the webcam thing where she just stares at it the entire time without even blinking or looking away. It's like, somebody's banging your mouth, honey. Pay attention. And the poor dude looks like he's doing this the whole time. Seriously, it's like the dude's just jumping up and down the whole time. It's, it's weird. I have a feeling. It's not what the simps hoped it would be. They've been waiting on this day for years, and then it finally came. 
No pun intended. I doubt it's what they expected. Never as good as you think it's gonna be. But at the end of the day, we know for a fact she ain't kidding. So in other news, it's hard to call any of this news. Well, Pokimane was on stream the other day and somebody sent her a super chat. It said, you're only successful because of your looks. Which I'll admit that's a low blow and I don't agree. You can't just be hot. You have to have some semblance of a personality and you gotta put the work in. But come on, we're all adults here, let's be honest. Her looks played a role. I don't know how big of a role, but they played a role. Well, apparently this hit Pokey's nerve a little bit. She went off, sis. People only like I'm actually currently listening to a piano a cover of You've Got a Friend in Me. If I get DMCA'd cards, you'll protect me, right? Oh, of course. Okay, I, good. I don't do people on Twitch. I'll handle that. Ah, uh, yes, go! You know, it's quite odd the amount of people that will go to the extent of sending me money just to summarize any success I've ever had in your look. It's weird because I think from a reasonable perspective, anybody can say that, especially when you're in a position of entertaining, of course, looking in a way that is attractive to some, I'm not wanting to gas myself up, also don't think I look that nice. Sure, that can be a benefit to anyone as can a variety of other things. Being funny, being hardworking, I didn't brush you know, my teeth everybody morning. has positive, you know, everybody morning. has positive traits or negative traits or whatever. But I think objectively, logically, have you not seen a billion girls, especially on Twitch that look far better than me? How can my success be only due to the way that I look when there are many that look far than me also furthermore why are you wasting your damn money trying to tell me this Quite take hard. your money spend it on yourself take your money go buy yourself some makeup do this and have a career or something you know you are not benefiting yourself whatsoever i don't even know your username i just hear your words Hi, Jaya, neither does I anybody else in my chat really, really <laughs> please please take your money do something that'll actually make you feel better. That'll actually leave a lasting impact on your life. Ho ho ho. Whoa now. You could tell that she was legitimately mad. Like that pissed her off. Well, you did yourself dirty there. Now people know you hate it. So get ready to hear it again and again. I'd like to restate. I don't agree with that message. But if somebody said something asshole to me, I'd let it go. You've got to have a thick skin on the internet, man. Otherwise, it will eat you alive like the graboids from Tremors. Plus, I think I've said this before, why do you care? Why would she care if some rando on the internet doubts her? Why? Who gives a shit? You're incredibly successful and rich. Scoreboard, baby! For the last bit of news that isn't really news, Mia Khalifa got caught on camera doing some really weird shit. That's a pun. You'll get that in a second. Mia Khalifa did something truly disgusting. Brace yourselves. Yeah. You saw what you think you saw. She took off her mask, used said mask to pick up her dog's shit, threw said shit away, and then put the mask back on her face covered in shit. <laughs> Ew! For the love of God, please tell me that you turned that mask inside out and not jelly side down. What the hell is wrong with you? Aren't you rich? You can't afford a $3 roll of poo bags? When I first heard about this, I didn't believe it. Then I saw the video, I kinda still didn't believe it. But, it happened. And I know what you're thinking, how do you know that's Mia? Well, she actually confirmed it. She tweeted out saying, well, at least I'm not an anti-masker. No? No, you're not an anti-masker. You're a shit masker First off, you should not have responded. You either deny it or ignore it. Secondly, yes, you wear a mask when you're not using it to big up your dog's poop. Congratulations. But if I'm being perfectly honest, if you're just outside in your front yard like that, I'd rather you not wear one than one covered in dog shit. 
and I can say that with some level of certainty. In a perfect world, you'd wear a mask, but then you'd also have poo bags to pick up the poo. Masks are for your face. Poo bags are for poo. I never thought I'd have to spell that out for a millionaire. That's right, I'm still here. And if you're still here with me, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you because I care about the fans and the fans only. Mostly because I never stand a chance at monetization ever. But money's overrated, right? And it can't buy happiness, as they say. It's a good thing, too, because if it could, I'd be f***ing miserable.